Moon and XRP did what I had anticipated in my last video with the new moon being pulled up to its resistance. But we're not focusing on Bitcoin or XRP because we're going to be focusing on Dobcat in today's video. So, welcome everybody. My name is Kalita Salia. If you are new, I'm a mother, a real angel, and of course, I dabble in crypto. That's why you're here. So, I use astrology in combination with the crypto market and i see how it could be impacting the markets basically it's astrology of the sky so it's not mainstream tropical astrology we look at the visible sky over here and um if you are new what we usually do is we'll go over some dramantria connections the astrological story of what's happening this cycle um to see how it could be impacting the crypto market and then we'll take a look at the technical analysis usually it's bitcoin xrp and the dxy but of course it's going to be dubcat today um so welcome i have a very right brained perspective let's turn the brightness up i have a very right brain perspective of looking at the crypto markets i'm not very left brained so if you want to know more about what dubcat actually is and things of that nature you're gonna have to go elsewhere but I like to look at the energy behind the project because of course we live in a whole hologram and there's energies behind everything and it's from the energies I know whether to give it my attention or not. So do stay tuned if you do like esoteric type of things you're gonna want to stay around for the connections are found in this video it's quite interesting so shami i do hope you're listening to this video because this is also for you but i'm going to quickly go over the astrological story of this cycle and you notice i'll say the word cycle i don't really like to say the word week because i'm not weak bro and words are spelled so anyway i'm just working on getting it out of my vocabulary here we are it is the seventh i know i've missed some videos for my subscribers but i'm back your girl is here um the main thing i want to bring your awareness to first is the moons obviously as i said price was pulled up to its resistance level um and it found its resistance and then of course we're moving into our full moon phase if you don't know astrology plays a big role in the crypto market um for those who are new when it is a new moon price likes to be pulled up to its resistance level when it's a full moon price likes to find its support so we need technically once price finds its support resistance level you could then short the market if you're a trader um, and then once price finds its support level you could then long the market or dollar cost average and things of that nature so the full moon phase lasts five days before and five days after so one two three four five so basically the end of this cycle we're going to be um finding our support okay that's what we're going to be finding um but right now we're still in our resistance level because it's five days after yeah basically today and then we're gonna start transitioning so keep that in mind we are gonna get ready to find our support very soon but we'll cover more of that in the next video on the 13th um something i want to bring your awareness to as well is jupiter and pluto so Pluto is stationing direct. Pluto is currently in Capricorn, not Aquarius, like mainstream astrology is saying. It is in Capricorn in the sky. And Capricorn is all about solid foundations, stability, long term goals. Pluto is about transformation. This is why you can see our whole world is turning upside down, systems are failing, and things of that nature. Um, because Pluto is ready to transform the foundation of the whole collective and it's station direct of course crypto plays a huge part when it comes to this new foundation being built so we are going to be moving forward in that and with jupiter stationing retrograde oftentimes retrogrades can offer a redo a going over of anything in order for you to um continue forward so basically what you didn't have time to do before previously you've then got that time and of course we're directing it all to the crypto market because the way astrology works is it will have an impact on people's individual choices um, and then of course those invested in the crypto market make them choices <laughs> so that's why i combine astrology with it um so yeah this retrograde jupiter just expands pluto's ready to transform Jupiter needs to go back a little bit to make sure it can expand but within that going back you can still expand anyway so this is why I am seeing 
a potential explosive quarter for, even if it is just Bitcoin primarily moving first. So keep that in mind. That was the tiny little astrological story, but let's get back into the dub of the cat. This is it. I'm not going to lie. I just looked at this website right now. <laughs> um, I have just looked at it, but have a have a look where we've done phase one. So we're on phase two, which is interesting what it needs to do. Um, but just go on the site and take a look. Like I says, I am more right brain, so we're not really going to be paying attention to this. So feel free to take a look. We'll check out the technical analysis. But the guy behind it, the man behind it, check him out. It's Shami, Shami of the bit. <laughs> I like to say things backwards. Hopefully this is still on it. And no, it's not. It's come off. Oh no, it's here. This is his TikTok. So it's this one. There's many fake ones. This is his real TikTok. So feel free to check him out if you would like to. Um, and where's his ex? Here we go. Yeah, these are his pinned videos. One mil. Like there's so many fake accounts on him. <laughs> it's wild but he's, he's a g he is a g i'm not gonna lie here's his ex feel free to check him out he's um yeah just just check him out but we're gonna get into dubcat when it loads y'all have to bear with me i know i'll probably have more people watching this but my laptop at times don't laptop so it just goes slow so again this is his ex so feel free to follow him there as you can see dubcat dubcat cto all of that funny stuff but check him out let's look at uh where are we where are we here so this is my threads and we're going to get onto the dramantria connections i'll explain what dramantria is if you do not know um, but this is my threads and this is what we'll be looking through the connections on so when it comes to well my perspective of reality we are in a hologram we're in this hologram and it's run off numbers, geometry, things of that nature. So Dramantria shows the um, the frequency of things. It shows the, ge the geometry, the numbers, and it basically shows everything that has a connection with it. So all the numbers that pop up that are the same, it has a connection or a relationship to it. It can either come about as like, you know, string theory, like one thing's triggered and then the next thing, or at the same time but ultimately these things all have a connection with each other so if you're not used to esoteric type of things just bear with me i love numbers numerology and all shit like that so all the numbers are important we're going to be looking at two versions we're going to be looking at dubcat just by itself and then dubcat cto because both have some interesting connections okay um and if you notice here, we have what the number equates to. And then I always, in the, rule of, in the rules of numerology, we break it down to a single digit. So these single digit numbers also tell me a story about it as well, about the energy behind Dubcat. Like, as I said, I don't know much about it. I'm going to be honest. <laughs> but from the perspective of looking at it from an esoteric point of view, I can see that it's quite good. Okay, so we'll, we'll we'll get into it. We'll get into it. So, oh, do I want to say the numbers now? I don't want to kind of throw you off, but basically we're getting fours in there. So four represents time, stability, structure, leadership, discipline. Um, six represents the material reality. Two represents um, duality, making something, um, making something possible to exist because contrast is needed and seven is source it's wisdom it's source um so just keep that in mind with all of them eight is is infinity <laughs> eight is infinity eight can come with drastic changes and balance as well so let's take a look so dubcat what we're going to be focusing on is the hebrew simple but simple is also called ordinal that's why i'd written ordinal in my title oh confirmation burp and chaldean as well they're the ones we're going to be paying attention to you don't really need this one so dubcat we've got emperor so i also bring i look at things in a holistic way so what is this emperor energy talking about in like the tarot cards 
this card is suggestive of stability and security in life you are on top of things and everything is under your control it is your hard work discipline and self-control that have brought you this far it means that you are in charge of your life setting up your own rules boundaries etc etc so i found that wild that obviously emperor connection is there so it's like stability security hmm could dubcat be offering that potentially we've got the best also people take what resonates leave what don't like this isn't the be all and end all i'm not saying these are like if just observe just become aware if anything clicks in your head then let it click in your head that's it okay led into gold this is wild because this is alchemy this is literally alchemy and it's like hmm <laughs> like operating on the frequency of like entering into dubcat could that be part of your led into gold experience an alchemist fascinating sealed ones is it for the sealed ones who are sealed minanor minanor field of dreams so will it be opening up dreams for people there's quite a few of these okay so bear with me just relax grab a beverage of your choice because it's gonna be a long one there's probably gonna be more time on these connections than anything so we've got god's oracle which i found interesting and we're getting a lot of angel vibes so gabriel has come up and what is gabriel about so um you've got strength might it's l you know have a read of this if you'd like to but it's about gabriel's the one who delivers messages from god and humans it's that inter intertwined one so i find that interesting like are the angels literally coming down saying yo dubcat fam <laughs> we've got ramiel archangel ramiel as well and this is what he's about um thunder and divine authority so i found that interesting um i found that interesting why that yeah it is interesting but ramiel is in there as well divine authority like i don't know i generally feel that this has come out divine timing <laughs> like quite literally we've got dubcat we've got angelic i think i can just do this so that i'm not too long on each photo we've got angelic giving us 51 oh gosh dubcat as well in chaldean is 20 so what i would like you to pay attention to is when it comes to numbers like apparently i do have autism so that's why my number brain is just like ah i just love numbers um, but if something of like 51, even 50 or 20 pops up or just two pops up around Dubcat is something to bring your awareness to. So that's the whole purpose of it. And I do find it's quite powerful. It's got a palindrome number here. So if you put a mirror, it's basically showing the opposite if you put a mirror. So 15 is an interesting thing. And I've got another mentor, Waters Above. Um, and he did mention like 15 this year was quite a potent number. But anyway we're getting angelic angelic getting merkaba the merkaba is our energy field it's our auric field and basically if when we're at our highest state of being we're meant to just activate our merkaba and then travel you know what i mean we shouldn't really be needing these cars hunting hunting but yeah so i just find it fascinating our energy field is all up in here um could be impacted by it and this is going to come up again at the end so keep that in mind we're getting giant is it going to be big we're getting elite is it elite status this and we're getting federal so i like i feel i feel it's well thought of personally i do so it's quite quite interesting saved are we gonna be saved from this gaming is it gonna be something i don't know if it's something to do with gaming it seems like it's more like out out there we're getting familiar and i was on bit shammy's live last night and he was talking about the community of it and i'm not gonna lie i'm not super active in there <laughs> but the moment i joined I, I did feel very welcome so thank you if you lot are watching this video thank you very much thank you familiar <laughs> thank you right that was it for just dubcat but we're gonna get into dubcat cto now this one's fascinating it really is so we're getting 463 for dubcat and 98 we're getting flourish are we gonna flourish with this project we're getting one helper of mankind do you think it will help good samaritan vibes coming through and again like i have to admit 
like I'm not even capping here or just boosting anyone's ego or head but Shami's a cool guy you know what I mean and he hasn't actually charged a penny he's helped me out put me on track with um some things and it's like oh is is a cool guy so I do I do get that vibes we're getting crusader really wanting to make a change in all of this and I feel that personally from the community does anyone else if you're watching this video stakeholders we're getting intense is meme I found that interesting because obviously it is a meme coin so it's just let's say it's wild to me that even the Dramantria the coding of our reality has thrown that in there as well because that's what it is three dollars you think it will reach three dollars three dollar getting blue apples this may be very random but it's not okay it's really not random i did ever since the maui fires do you remember the maui fires and all the things that were blue weren't burnt we have been following in our um crypto angles podcast um all the blues clues basically you can tell i'm born in the 90s but all the blues clues and this is another blues clue so that's why that's there okay it's, it's not random it's not not random we've got hidden in plain sight so the question really is what is hidden in plain sight um i'm gonna put it bigger because you know what i'll spoil it for fit or no hidden in plain sight luciferians <laughs> i found this funny because this may come across as like oh my days what's that i'm not part of that but lucifer is basically just the light bearer the bringer of light it's just light so there's really nothing bad about it but let's continue Ooh, confirmation burp garment of light you see so there's nothing scary about it um yeah there's nothing scary about it like garment of light is it lighting something up i don't know i don't know um but we've got lunatics as well again i find this funny because people only called people lunatics when they were trying to like burn the witches and things like that um, so again, there's nothing really bad about it. It's basically Luna, Luna the moon, and the moon stuff is coming up. We've got total eclipse. This is important because our next total eclipse is when it's 2026, but it links to other things. So it's August 12th, 2026, and you can see it from these places. And sadly, it's like many dec decades away from the UK. It's going to be in the UK in 2090. So I don't know if I'm still going to be here then, but I'm definitely going to try see this one, one of these places. But August popped up. So we're making connections here. We're getting August. Obviously, 2026, could something happen? Do you like think there's going to be a cycle, like a super cycle going into 2026 with this bull run? But we've got 10 months. Now, there's no coincidences, obviously, looking at this, even though 10 months you know, if I've seen this at any other time, it's just it's just 10 months. But I happen to see it in October 2024. 10 months away from October 2024 gives us what? It gives us August, not obviously not 2026, but it gives us August 2025. So August is popping up again. Um, let's let's click on this. I had so much issues, you know, so much issues with this. Keep in mind with August, it's going to pop, pop up again. <laughs> and you've seen this, but something else hidden in plain sight as well. Kronos. Kronos. Have you seen Kronos? No, not Kronos. Do you know what Kronos is? Kronos is Yaldabaoth. Okay. Now this sounds odd. We're going to come back to these ones a bit later with um, Dubcat C CTO. But Yaldabaoth and Kronos are the exact same thing. The, it is basically Yahweh. It's Saturn as well. Time. Yaldabaoth, Kronos controlled and have controlled time. Essentially, in the whole mythology, they've created our whole hologram. And um, it's harnessing energy, but that, that's not the point. Moving on to Yaldabaoth. I found it interesting that every depiction of Yaldabaoth, which I wasn't aware of before until I'd done this, is of a dragon. Okay, so more connections coming up, just pure dragon, Dragon Ball Z. Um, but we're getting that 463 with Dubcat CTO linking to Dragon Manifest. 
where are we? It's 2024. We are in the Chinese zodiac year of the dragon. So again, no coincidences that this has come out this year. Zero. Zero coincidence. Um, also getting double dragon. So again, just dragon energy coming up with Yaldabaoth and Kronos. We're also getting Goddess Hestia. Why is this important? Because Goddess Hestia is Kronos's daughter. Is it or is it Zeus's daughter? No, it's Kronos's daughter. Zeus overthrew Kronos. Okay, so even in the mythology, even with Saturn, blah blah, Zeus overthrew Kronos. Um, and he Goddess Hestia was Zeus's sister. So again, her um she's all about the hearth fireplace altar she yeah just have have a read of that but that's what she's about domestic life of the hearth basically so i don't know it's just telling me that this has a lot of connections with the actual physical hologram or you know material hologram we're in right now again no coincidences coming up um we've also got when it comes to the ordinal and the Chaldean, Dubcat CTO, 1989. My brain sometimes reads it backwards. Um, I personally find all these numbers fascinating, but I don't want to overwhelm your head. 34, 7 is coming up again. We've got Dracaris. Dracaris, who's watched Game of Thrones. So another dragon. Um, it does say Dr Dracaris here. Um game of thrones dragon energy again in the year of the dragon zero coincidences here's the august august is popping up like i mentioned before with the 10 months and the solar eclipse so i do hope you kind of see the connections it's like string theory things connect to each other um and we're getting summer which wh when does august happen in summer of course happens in summer we're getting the light so light has come back again more light energy and this is what i mean like I, I don't know where the whole community is at like spiritually and stuff but um i do see consciousness of frequencies rising our light energy is literally oscillating at a different frequency and well at a different oscillation um and it's only going to expand so it's like i just i don't know i feel it's come out at this right time fallen angel again that may seem like what a fallen angel but fallen angels are just for fallen angles of reality in order for us to experience our reality the angles need to fall down and come down the angels need to come down could this also be part of angel gabriel and ramayal um saying yo <laughs> get dove cat fam <laughs> you know what i'm saying but we've got seraphim this is another type of angel so there's a lot of angel and dragon energy and no cap as I mentioned in the beginning of this video, I did say I am a real angel because I am. Um, and I've got my own dragon. I may sound crazy, but I'm just so obsessed with dragons as well. So going through this, I was like, wow, someone's ordered an Uber Eats McDonald's. Anyway, let's carry on. I've got revival. Will it bring up a revival in this place? And why cough? So this is just telling me, like I said, if anything clicks in your head, this is just telling me that the Wyckoff method potentially is going to be something to bring awareness to when it comes to the technical analysis of Dubcat. Um, I hope the sound is all right. Oh, confirmation burp. Yeah, I do feel the Wyckoff method may be important to pay attention to. So I do know some of them. Um, we've got, I am the one, invest. So all these things have a relationship to Dubcat, okay? It has a connection. Ace of Cups. This is another tarot. So let's read what the tarot says. Um, Ace of Cups is about, it can mean joy, inner peace, and new connections. So again, this just brings me back to Bitchami's live from yesterday talking about um, the community and how it's very family-like and it's very friendly. So I do feel it really, like energetically, naturally gives that vibes. It naturally gives that vibes. And you know, I'd love to actually, if you've reached this far in the video, especially you, Shami, I'd love to give you a free birth chart reading. I do offer birth chart readings as well, people. I've done one for XRP and Bitcoin. They're on my page. You can check it out. But 
I wouldn't be surprised if I see all of this stuff and your passion towards this in your chart. Like, I would not be surprised. But we've got success all up in the house. We've got unity. So again, this connection, this familia. Familia, we're family. The beehive, this beehive effect working as a team. Like, you can't, the numbers don't lie. <laughs> numbers don't lie. The unity, the connection, that teamwork is definitely there in it it's the frequency of dub cat meaning god is it's elite <laughs> it's a g um real god code so just more is very um very biblical i'd say <laughs> very biblical some random some random stuff before we get into it got the wolf now again this is more like my personal connection because i am in the wolf pack family as well with waters above and it's like sometimes you got to be the wolf you know he always says don't be a bear don't be a bull be a wolf and follow the moon so i'm out here following the moon i've done been following the moon with technical analysis anyway but wolf vibes for sure xrp cash obviously if you've been watching my channel xrp pops its head everywhere cash i don't even think there's xrp cash but i just found it interesting its head sh showed up blue beetle another blues clue religion just some more random ones i found interesting uh, it's very biblical mr paul <laughs> do you remember this guy like when i first like got into crypto i used to see a lot of things about him he's like you know it's extra value you know and he's like mr paul guys mr paul said this <laughs> but he's showing his head anyway divine god so god energy with this meaning god like quite literally god energy with this coin is what i'm feeling and lastly the launch date of this was the 8th of july 2024 um which i find fascinating because the bit of the birthday numerology just the eight is the infinity symbol so infinity the eight number it can bring about drastic change like for example it's like one way and then we shift into the other way and then so on especially when it's like this way <laughs> but it is obviously the infinity it's about balance as well creating that balance and this eight having the balance can bring about drastic change especially when it comes to wealth all right it's birth card so on the 8th of july makes it a seven of diamonds so let's have a little read of this um just the beginning part really by suit the seven seven of diamonds is what always connected with finances so yeah at the end it's not it hasn't fit it in on the screen but it does say basically it can reach any outcome it desires to as long as it maintains what the balance which is the infinity symbol of the eight you need that eight and um you need that balance and then the finances will easily come so here's dub cap here it is i took this from the telegram group <laughs> um we we covered flying avocado cap of about what six or seven months ago so obviously this is dub cap but these are the dramantria connections do let me know if anything stuck out for you this is my threads on instagram if you want to go back to these it will be in the description below um let's just take another look at this page it's really cool like i only looked at it today so yeah this is what it's about nightlife vibes while building wealth fascinating fascinating it's a really really cool website i do like it but yeah let's take a look at the technical analysis you're right darling let's take a look at the technical analysis for the dub of the cat so oh uh, how can i like obviously I'm used to trading view, even though this is trading view, but it's on Dex. I'm not really used to this. But since its inception, since its inception, what am I on? The monthly chart? Three months. I don't know. But as you can see, we cl we've clearly been on an upward trend since its inception. When did it come out? Obviously, there we go. 8th of July. 8th of July it started and we've only been in an uptrend like there's really not much to say about this technical analysis like not much at all of course there could be a retracement 
that's a possibility. I do prefer to look at the line chart because it's just a bit simpler. Oh gosh, my children are just starting to argue. Um, yeah, like, yeah, there's really not much to say. Are you okay? What are you doing? Just finishing stuff up. Oh, okay. All right. <laughs> um, yeah, it's looking healthy. I'm not gonna lie. And when it comes to obviously meme to coins and stuff, oh, take a look at all the market cap and etc. etc. Like I says, I don't, um, I only learned about this today. <laughs> um, but it is fascinating. I don't know much about it because before I kind of bog my brain down with all of this, I need to know energetically if it's worth it. So seeing the technical, no, seeing all the Germantria connections is interesting. That makes me want to know more. Do stick around as well because I will be doing a birth chart reading for this token. Um, like I said, I've done one for Bitcoin and XRP, so feel free to check it out. It's going to be in the exact same format. Mr. Shami, if you hear this far, I would love to give you a free reading if you're open to that. I know your birthday is in March. <laughs> I know it's in March. Um, I could probably work it out, but just let me know. Let me know. Um, and if anyone would like a reading, whether it's for a coin or yourself, do do let me know as well. But yeah, the technical analysis though, it is looking healthy, just like oh. Ah, oh, the moon phases and that. I need to add everything on if I'm looking at this chart a lot. But the moon would have come up here, so it was kind of pulled up into it anyway. I want to go down just to the daily, and we're going to change it to the candle. So, yeah, the new moon probably would have been about here, to be honest, but it was generally pulled up to it, and oh that's looking healthy though at least it's gone higher than this point and see these candlesticks are hurting my eyes i prefer the lines um but damn it is actually looking healthy looking at, at a larger scale i feel like it's just better on a larger scale to be fair i feel if anything there could be some retracement coming down um just to gain more support but ultimately it's looking hella healthy like could we come back down to this zone gain proper support on it and then continue on up um or is this our full support level here or this zone but right now i guess we'll just have to wait and see but mm, from what i've heard like obviously we're waking waiting for a breakout and of course the breakout will be this zone when it's ready to do it um, the breakout's going to be this zone. We obviously attempted it a wick up and then got brought back down. So ultimately, this is the zone we want to see breaking through. And gosh, it's not even on the screen, but it's eight cents. Past eight cents will be like what to look out for. And I feel it may play around. Like I says, we are getting ready to enter into our full moon phase. Okay. So, um, yeah keep that in mind price is going to get ready to find its support and then once it's clearly found its support it then can continue on to the upside so the question is will our support remain here at this level at seven cents seven two um or will we come down further to find a greater support before continuing to the upside so that's basically what i'm seeing it's just wait till it breaks this and wait until it finds it confirms its support it will definitely confirm its support before it breaks through this and this is the thing when it comes to the moons i'll show you on bitcoin because we'll quickly go over bitcoin not xrp in this video but um we could gain our support and then after that break through with the full moon okay so keep that in mind let's just take a little look i hope this video isn't too too long because sometimes you go can chat you see me can chat so as you can see our new moon came in there price was pulled up to it this was our support so if you are new these are how i use the moon phases i'd like to upload this to tiktok as well um so basically especially when it comes to bitcoin i'm wondering will we gain support above this level will we gain support above this level above 65 Okay. or at yeah above it basically 
um, will our support become our recent resistance? Or as we are still in our resistance phase for today anyway, and finishing off, um, we will be pushed back down. But I don't know, I don't feel so. We're getting the crosses on the moving averages. The 200 is sitting just underneath price now. This green line, it is sitting under it. Do I have, yeah. It's sitting under it, which is good. So it's like all we'll need now is the 50, it's a 50 or 55 to cross over the eight and the 200. But it's definitely getting ready for a move. Go into the Bitcoin stop to flow model. Oh gosh, man, confirmation. <laughs> Me sorry. Even, even in my readings, I'm like, ah, confirmation burp. But stock to flow model, you can clearly see that we are turning orange even more. We're turning orange. So Bitcoin is getting ready to move as we've turned orange um, every time before. We've had upward momentum and it is turning orange. So where are we? Trading view Bitcoin. Um, so it's like these crosses happening are quite healthy. I'm going to come to my ugly, horrible Bitcoin chart. Just bear with me. It's very messy. But all my drawings are on this. I'm going to get rid of the moons. Bye, moon face. Bye, baby. So there's a lot of squiggles. So ignore the squiggles. Something I want to bring my your awareness to is the RSI in the W time frame. I say W. Um, what I'm actually liking... Oh, look at that. Just looking at the line chart. It looks like, you know, it got rejected, it, it come down, it's ready to finally break out of this massive cop and handle pattern. So this chart is messy, but this is one big ass cop and handle pattern that has lasted. How long? How long do you last it? How many days? Oh, what do I do? How many days you last it, babe? How many days? Wow, 1,099 days. <laughs> so it's lasted an awful long time. So it's like it's ready to pop. It really is ready to pop. And of course, with Bitcoin making moves, the rest is going to make moves anyway. Um, I kept this parallel channel here as a thought of, could we come back and retest it? We definitely got close with Wix, um, but still not close enough but i kept that there just in case any black swan events but looking at the rsi it's quite healthy because look where price was here so price is there there and the rsi is at this level we've basically come back and retested that two more times on the rsi level we've tested it after we kind of hit this we did extend we super extended we went how much percentage we went 170 percent 73 percent we round it to 170 so we moved quite a bit and on the rsi level we are at that zone again we're not on the low part like back down here um but we're on the lower side so i don't know for me that's just more confirmation with the macd as well we're definitely slowing down with the selling pressure which is good the super good um but yeah going back to the daily you can see here it was just such a lovely we pulled up to the new moon we come back down retested this zone which we're getting supported off nicely by the 50 and we're ready to make a next leg up so this is why i'm like our new support may be our old resistance potentially potentially so yeah and of course with bitcoin doing what it needs to do it will move the last thing but it's definitely looking healthy we're in this little squiggle 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 come up and we've got support off it now yeah so we'll see we'll see i'm not going to keep this video too too long so i'm pretty much going to end it there um if you lot this calendar is in alignment with the visible sky if you would like to grab it it is available on etsy and the new calendar will be available soon there's a diary version as well um the new calendar going from it starts in 
April and finishes in March. So this calendar finishes March 2025, okay? The new calendar will be available in November and it, again, it will start in April and finish in March 2026. <laughs> so it's going from 2025 to 2026. There's a sale, obviously, on these ones now. Um, but feel free to grab it if you'd like. If you'd like a birth chart reading or like me to look at any other coins, do let your girl know. Oh gosh, I forgot to mention this as I was talking about the gods. Don't watch the name. I didn't choose it. Has anyone watched Chaos? Has anyone watched this? You know when I spoke about Kronos, he Goddess Hiesta, Yaldabaoth, um, this show on Netflix is all about that. So this is Zeus and he overtook his father Kronos, which is Yaldabaoth, which created our hologram. Okay, he overtook him, Zeus. So I just wanted to bring that and show that in there um, because the mythology plays a big role in this hologram and it's clearly playing out and I feel this coin, this CTO has come out right on time for the right reason in perfect alignment with all of this stuff so yeah i'll put all the links in the description below if you'd like to check it out any of my loyal subscribers even if that's 10 to 2 people it no matter but i'll put it in the link below and if you have come from the dubcat community um do let me know if you like my perspective and and let me know if it strengthens your commitment in this project as well i'd love to know that it's definitely inspired more of my commitment in it because it's fascinating it's very mythology myth mythological myth you know what i mean but anyway with that being said this is crypto angles podcast number 71 seven and one make eight the birth date of dubcap that infinity that balance and i'll see you in crypto angles podcast number 72 so with that being said, <laughs> Angel out. Bye.